What's going on YouTube? Brennan Gaming here. We're playing Survival at Gunpoint. A top-down zombie shooter. With waifus. Let's get right into it. Target the zombie and shoot. I mean... I don't have to do any moving there. Boom. Got him. Or her. Got her. What is this? Resident Evil? Got him. Survivor. Help. Help me. Let's shoot her too. <laughs> Survivor detected. Let's save her. I have to survive. So swipe the screen to move around. Tap to continue. Time to fix my controls. And we're back. Controls kind of fixed. I only uh, got the left sync. Not the left sync. I synced the left stick. Zombies in sight. Engage and gun them down. How am I supposed to... Oh. So I... Oh, I don't have to press anything. What a treat. Wow, this is such a great game. Top down zombie shooter. Shoot them up. Kill them all. So where's, where's that waifu? There she is. Weep. Somebody help me. I don't want to die. I mean, neither do I. Survivor, I gotta help her. Yes, we do. Or else, uh... Surviving ain't worth surviving. So, it's a pretty fun game. I like that I don't have to actually press anything to shoot. I just gotta get them in this circle. And when it turns red, that means they're shooting. Or we're shooting. And I guess I'll have to do stand here and then we survive. <laughs> we, we not survive. We, we, uh, we help her. Um, sometimes my, my brain is just going way faster than what's coming out of my mouth. We must defend the escape point. Alright, we got a little tower defense thing going on here. There's too many zombies. I've got some nano potions. Right. Whoa. Wow, this is this is like that performance enhancer. <clears throat> that you take, you know? Well, I don't take it. I don't need it. <laughs> at least not at this age. <laughs> I hear zombies ahead. Let's send a drone to have a look. So use the vehicle to break through, start the helicopter, and return to the... What? Okay, so the drone's just... Yeah, that's, that's a lot of zombies. Okay, so we just go uh, forward. Then we make a left. There's a helicopter. We can use it to get back, but the nano potion has lost its effect, and there are still a lot of zombies. This can't be good. There's a vehicle over there. We can use it. Try to break through the... Let's do that. All right, let's, let's get in this V kill. We're about to commit some vehicular manslaughter. Boom. All right. That's, that's actually quite therapeutic. <laughs> die, zombies, die. Die. This ain't, this ain't even fair. Look at this. Wow. They can't, they can't do anything. I'm like a... I'm like a bowling ball of doom. <laughs> That's a bit of an overkill. Uh... I wonder if there's any gacha in this game. So far, so good. Got some loot. <laughs> that was a fun experience. That was a close one. Thank you for saving me. My name is Yumi. Hi, Yumi. I'm Commander Vince. We've got some medical supplies, so she's injured. Her schoolgirl outfit from the 70s is all bloody. Please help Yumi patch up. So we gotta tap on her, we gotta heal her. She's all good now, damn. This is, I mean, everything has gone to hell, but she, she was patched up in seconds. I wish our uh, medicine our medical capabilities were as good as 
what's I you know what we're experiencing in this game. More and more zombies are drawn by the sound of the helicopter. They're gonna breach the fence soon. Complete the sanctuary. Hurry up. <laughs> it requires more manpower. I'm going to broadcast on the radio, so hopefully more survivors can hear it. Bad news. The radio is malfunctioning. We will need some components to fix it. I I included it in the sanctuary plan. Complete that quest. So chapter one, repair the radio. Only when we get the radio working can we contact more survivors. So let's do that. All this with a fractured arm, Yumi? You're pretty hardcore. So we're gonna repair the radio. Let's get that repairing. I miss uh, radios in general. I remember my mom used to play all sorts of music on the radio. I mean, we we still have, you know, our phones can like connect to um, radio channels and we can listen to music that way. But it's not the same as like having an actual uh, piece of equipment that's like an actual radio. Oh, so we're a different character now. So she has some pretty good collateral uh, damage it's a little bit slower but um oh we can switch we can swap that's cool but he's he's uh whoa there are the spiders i remember i used to play world of warcraft back in the day i'm talking like 2006 right i was really young at the time and uh um i had an alliance character and then I got to like Duskwood, which is like, I think it was like the level of, of like 20 area. Um, and there, there were some spiders that I had to kill for a quest. And, uh, you know, me being young at the time, I was, I was, I was not liking those. They, they looked pretty, pretty realistic at the time. And I was, I wasn't a fan of spiders, you know, so every time I, had to kill the spiders um i did not enjoy it you know i would i would, I would kind of like cringe at the screen because i was afraid of spiders i mean I, hell i probably still still am brown recluse forget all that but what's what's funny about it is uh in high school now <laughs> i actually had a pet tarantula it was like a do i remember the name of it uh it was like bracky Helma Vegans or something like that. I don't know. It's it's been a while. <laughs> Higher might require. Please upgrade your heroes. So yeah, from being afraid of sp spiders to having a pet tarantula, one of like the biggest spider class, if not the, the biggest, right? You got like, like the bird eater. Anyway, Commander, we haven't reached the recom that might. It'd be too risky. Why don't you use the anti-serum to improve our strength? So let's go to hero. Let's go to... What is his name? Vince? Alright, we're going to upgrade Vince all the way to level 10. We're going to evolve him. Alright, Vince is stronger than before. He's going to protect us. Or more like protect himself since we are Vince. We play as Vince. We're ready to explore the next stage. Let's do it. Let's do it. But before I do that, I do want to fix um, my keybinds, which I just did. Let's see if it works. Awesome. Alright, everything's working with my controller. Yeah, that's... One of the drawbacks when you're using an emulator, like I could use my mouse to press stuff, but since I have a controller, like why not? Some games just work really nice with the controller. But then again, you know, uh, I always end up most likely having to configure the game myself. So, I mean, it, it takes away from the quality a little bit. It's not something I mind doing, say if I'm like not recording, but I mean, it's it's whatever, right? You do it once and that's it for each game you play. But of course, there's only a small selection of games where you'll want to use a controller. So it's a nice quality of life. We, we have a transistor. 
Let's go to the next place. If you want to upgrade your heroes before a battle, just tap the green arrow. Oh yeah, we can upgrade Yumi. Yumi is pretty awesome. Let's get her to level 10. We don't have enough, unfortunately. Wait, who's Amber? And how do I get her? Hello, Amber. She's looking quite snug in her uh, jacket. One component to go. Yeah. What is this? We have a turret, a sentry gun. Wait. If I click on Amber... Oh, four dollars. Well, five, technically. <clears throat> I don't know about that. I have a... A, a, a ninja code. Where I do not spend money on, on mobile games anymore. So I always end up, I don't know, abandoning it. Like, there are some times where you do want to spend a, you know, couple bucks on a game. Because, like, why the heck not? But most, most mobile games are, you know, first you have to assess whether it's worth it. And most of the times, it's probably not worth it. But then, you know, there there are games where, uh, you know, you'll be shown like one dollar packs that can give you quite a nice boost, one to one to five dollars. There are like battle passes that just make sense because they're battle passes, and uh, sometimes you make the uh, the uh, whoa. Some sometimes you make the gem back and can like use use the gems from that battle pass to buy another battle pass Which is in my opinion the greatest uh, Way to go about battle passes like rewarding people that grind whoa Rewarding people that play your game right if they spend time in your game uh, Give them stuff for it all right, this is this is not easy. Okay, that's a lie. It's it's pretty easy. I'm just uh, playing pretty terribly. Oh, I thought it was one of those mechanics where, like, as long as you're out of the uh, circle, or like, as long as you're out of it when it drops on the ground, you can go back in, and it's not gonna really hurt you. Yeah, like see, like that. Yeah. Lesson learn, lesson learn. He's done for. Wow, that, that was frightening. <laughs> what a loud sound. We have collected all the required components. All right, let's fix that baby. Where do we go? Let's go back. So this is also like a little city colony builder. Commander, you're now ready to broadcast. My name is Vince. Survivor came to our sanctuary after hearing her broadcast. She's now in Noah's Tavern. Let's go and greet her. Noah's Tavern. That sounds like a cool place to have a bear and just chill out at the end of the earth. While well, it's the end of the world. Alright, we got Zoe. Cool. Cool. Gotcha. I decided to come here. She's looking quite awesome. Let's claim all these goodies. Claim, claim, claim. Commander, our wall has been greatly damaged by zombies. You gotta do something quick. Don't worry, Yumi. Let's collect construction material. Whoa, look at the zombies. Our wall is badly damaged. Okay. So, here's our quest. Let's go back to Noah's, Noah's Tavern. We get a free recruit one. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. So there's a lot of things on the UI right now. We got a bunch of dollar packs. The $50 pack. I mean, at least it's not like $500, am I right? 50 buckaroos if you really love the game there is vip y'all know i'm not a fan of vip what's so what's all this we got a, a event going on um so there's a lot happening right now 
And look at all of this space to build stuff. And uh, we can see the zombies out here. I wonder if there's any PvP. Let's go to Heroes. Let's level up Zoe. Why am I talking like this? <laughs> the southernness is getting to me. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Let's go to Bag. See what's in here. Gadgets. Diamond box. I want to use that. I got some diamonds. Wait. Can I use all the diamonds? No way. That feel that felt so good. What's in the diamond shop? You know what? No, I'm keeping my diamonds so that I can get more uh lovely ladies. What is this headquarters? Can I upgrade the diamonds? How about no? I'm keeping those. Campaign. Uh they got guilds. Let's click that again. Join an alliance now to get 300 diamonds. Heck yes. Uh, strength in numbers. Death to all. Aftermath. I'm going to join Aftermath. Let's go. Nice. Hello, fellow Aftermathers. All right, let's uh, do that. Let's alliance tech, alliance event. Defensive Alliance. Uh, wow, there's a lot in this game. Uh, the leader, recruiter of diplomat of a level plus two of a level two plus alliance can initiate a defensive alliance once during the event. We have the zombies will spawn within the alliance territory. Slay as many zombies as possible within 25 minutes to get rewards. Battle. That's actually pretty cool. I, I don't know why, but this game reminds me of like really old PC games that just. The uh, are like based around um, guilds, if that makes any sense. I don't know, like, like, I, even though I've just recently joined an alliance um, and I haven't talked to anyone, I feel a sense of like camaraderie <laughs> already because you know just the defense of the alliance quest that you can do. I don't know it makes me want to do it for some reason. All right, let's try out our... Do I have to upgrade this? Oh, we can speed up the upgrade. All right, let's use the five minutes speed up. Awesome. There's some seven day thing going on here. I want to click... Can I use any of these? No, I can't. I can claim this though. I don't know why. I can... Now I can spin it. I love to gamble. I'm in the right game. Just look at my Towers Unite uh, gambling level. I've like I, I've gotten to the point in Towers Unite. Whoa! Stop it. <laughs> Here we go. I've gotten to the point in Towers Unite, which is a it's, it's a PC game on Steam that's very similar to like um, PlayStation Home. If anyone's ever played that, but like I've I've, I've been gambling in that game so much. There's this. Um, um, item that you can use that just has money floating, just like falling, falling around you. So like you can walk around and just money and coins is just like, it's, it's, it's like a tempest tornado type storm type thing of, of, of coins. It makes you feel good. So what do they want me to click on here? All right, let's go repair the wall. Another exploration. Let's get ourselves some construction materials. All right, let's do that. Because they've been wanting us to do that for some time. Let's do one more mission here. And hopefully we can use a subtype here. You can deploy me to increase the stats of the main hero. Oh, so sh oh okay. So you got uh, main heroes and sub heroes. And like, like we just read, sub heroes uh, buff the main heroes. So yeah, let's switch to so Yuki. Yuki is freaking sweet. Oh, we got the whip already. What is this? The the bends? I mean, if like it was uh broken and repaired to do what I'm doing now, you know? <laughs> oh my god. This game is uh it is it is 
It it is something lovely. <laughs> it is it is something lovely. I am enjoying it so far. Mm. It is definitely a treat. Survival at gunpoint, everybody. That's gonna conclude this first impressions. I love the game. I know there's VIP, but I plan on continuing con continuing and uh, seeing where the story leads and uh, all the different little uh, things you can do gameplay features that the game has so i'm gonna continue to play but uh i'm gonna stop this video here uh so if you enjoyed the video give it a like if you want more content subscribe if